Hey, 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 time for another out of this world story from our space. Cheating baby mama gets me wrongfully arrested and tries to steal the kids, so I did this to her. Y'all, she has done me dirty time after time for years. When we first met, she was talking about having a baby like the first weekend. Big red flag. But we were at a musical festival, everyone was trippy, and I was only 21. A bit of context. I was a hitchhiker leaving Colorado. She had a van, all set up to live in. Never met anyone like her. Very trippy vibes. Hard to get along with, but she was nice to me and smoking hot. Dude, I thought she loved me, cause she was the freakiest girl I have ever been with. Like two BJs a day status. I ended up bringing her home to mom like two weeks later. As I said, I was traveling, heading home from Colorado. She announced her pregnancy about a week after that. Turns out all that golden milk she was making for me made me extremely fertile. When we would have sex, she would be on top and I'd have to throw her off before I finished. She would say things to me like, We're going to give birth to a prophet. I was properly seduced by a smoking hot blonde. As soon as she's pregnant, I get no love at all. Instantly, the day she found out she's pregnant, she got sick. And I've literally been taking care of her since then. Instantly, the sex stops. No more BJs. When we do have sex, she just sits there and takes it, totally uninterested. Keep in mind, just before this, she was absolutely crawling all over me at all times. Her dad sends her money, so she hasn't worked in seven years. But I grew up broke, so I still need to work. This whole time, she's been disagreeing with literally everything I say. It's to the point when she asks me to choose between things I always choose what I like, less, because I know for a fact she will disagree and I will actually win for once. She instantly starts cutting me off from everyone in my town that I just brought her to, as if she knows my friends and family better than me. Fast forward a few crappy months later. Three months after our daughter is born, my only brother kills himself. He's had psychological problems for a few years and one prior attempt. Now I'm really heartbroken. I've been doing my best as a new dad to be accommodating for her and our daughter, but when my brother dies, I can't anymore. I'm crying uncontrollably for weeks, straight up depressed for months but my partner could have helped me. She didn't help at all. In fact, she made me worse. All I ever wanted was another one of those crazy sexual favors. But two weeks after my bro died, she was tired of seeing my mom. She wouldn't allow my mom to see the baby. She told me I had to choose between my mom or her. She's totally cut off from seeing her only living son by a girl she just met less than a year before. If I was caught texting my mom, it was like I was cheating on her. How could you lie to me? It took me way longer than it needed to for me to get over my brother's death. Then, five months after my brother died, one of my best friends also committed suicide. Fast forward another few months. I can't deal with her crap anymore. Constantly arguing about nonsense crap like why it's bad to use metal eating utensils. I'm jobless at the time. Comfortably selling weed. Got baby mama all up my case nonstop still dealing with these huge deaths and another best friend goes to jail and I got robbed for like $400. I decided to travel again before I ended up dead or in jail. Greatest experience of my life. So much healing. Millions of hippie chicks trying to jump my bones. Nah, I'm a married man, sorry ladies. Three months later, I'm home with a newfound love of life. She puts a quick end to this. She purposely picked fights with me just to say, ha, you're not a changed man, getting me all riled up about stupid crap constantly. Fast forward a couple of months. We travel together with baby, just like old times plus one. Every time we go to a beautiful hot spring or place in nature, she refuses to leave the van and gets mad at me for leaving her in the van. I'm just like, dude, we didn't drive all the way across the country to stay in the van. I just drove five hours to get us here. I'm gonna go see the dang waterfall. She's not happy traveling in a van like she used to be. She leaves, flies back home with the baby. I'm still out west trying to work on weed farms to make some money for the fam. Pretty sure it's at this point she cheated on me with her ex in her hometown. Can't prove it though. But when I came home, her lady parts felt like someone else was there. She claims she used a cucumber. But when you know, you know. F it, whatever. There's been all sorts of crap since then. We never figured it out. Let's keep traveling. Boom, another baby. Back home we go. Start driving Uber. Millions of chances to get laid. Seriously. Ladies just throwing themselves at me every weekend. Turn them all down. Some BS happens. I literally don't remember. 
She kicks me out of the house. Doesn't respond for weeks. I keep sending her money. Turns out she left. Back up north, at home, with her family and my babies. Probably cheating again. But who's paying her rent? Some hippies I've never met in the five years we've been together are staying in our house, with their kids and two dogs and a cat. I tell her if she doesn't come back, I'm pressing charges. She comes back and promises she's going to change and get a job and be nice and all that BS. But now, she's sold the van and wants to be a good hippie, so we aren't driving anymore. Bikes only. Which, of course, means I ride the bike everywhere while she sits at home and complains. I get our daughter an 80% scholarship to any private school in the state. She is totally dismissive to every school because they require vaccinations, pre-pandemic. So we finally find one. It's in bike range and everything. So I ride my daughter three miles to school in the AM, like the poorest people in the school, then ride to work seven miles, then work 10 hours, then ride home, daily. The stress is adding up big time. Then the pandemic hits. She still hasn't left the house or van since we met. There's times when I do that whole schedule, then come home and the house is dirty, kids hungry, and she's in bed complaining about how hard the day was because she had to ride a fraction of what I ride daily. The bikes were her idea, but she refuses to ride anywhere. I gotta go 12 miles to the organic hippie store every week though. Almost done. One day, I wake up and they tell me my daughter is peeing her pants in school. I tell my daughter very sternly that's not okay. In fact, I'm going to give her a whooping if she does it again. Wasn't actually going to, but wanted to play the part of strict dad for a moment. Baby mama starts freaking out, getting in my face. I go to smoke a cig. Gotta walk away from an argument sometimes. She follows, still in my face, poking me, yelling obscenities, talking about my mama. I'm getting very mad now. Time to walk away again. Nope. She yanks my hair as hard as she can. I got waist length dreadlocks, been growing for like 12 years. No one is allowed to touch my hair. But she is pulling my crap like a middle school cat fight, yanking me all around, literally trying to pull my hair out because I walked away. So I free myself, run to the door, try to lock her out till she calms down. She's quick. I don't want to slam her in the door, so I try to push her out with my feet while she's just punching me as hard as she can. I relent, let her in, and start grabbing my crap to get the F out of there. I guess my daughter isn't going to school today. I go to work two hours early, finish my day, and on my way home, she texts me and says don't come home tonight. But where else am I going to go? This is literally my house. I pay rent, my kids live here, I buy all the food. As soon as I get home, she's on the phone with the police. Boom, I go to jail. I started this relationship as a happy dreamer, but dealing with someone who always takes you for granted changes you. I now have a serious anger problem, especially since getting out of jail last October. Ankle monitor, not allowed a thousand feet of the school, I still have to pay for. Finally get the ankle monitor off, she wants to be nice. But my night in jail made me very bitter. I was wrongfully jailed, and the whole thing felt very much like some slavery crap going on. So I tell her no, I'm not going back to jail because of you. I don't live with you anymore and we're done. Honestly, I was going to just leave and never see her again. But I got my income tax and stimulus and figured with all these thousands I now have, I will just buy my own house. It's going okay. I use my mom's car to take daughter to school now. Me and baby mama got freaky a bunch of times. She's disappointed her seduction isn't going to work again though. I set some new ground rules. One of the big ones was that it's totally okay if she wants a new boyfriend but definitely don't bring anyone near my kids. Then boom. No one told me, but guess who's back in town? That's right, them hippies from last year. I try to be nice, but honestly, I'm not a fan of having zero privacy. I stopped going after work because baby mama ain't getting freaky no more and there's these random freaking people there always trying to talk to me. These random freaking kids that my daughter doesn't even like to hang out with. Whatever, freaking hippies. I've done my fair share of couch hopping. Then on Mother's Day last week, I called and texted and even just showed up to get the kids. No one home. Whatever, I'll just wait till she calls. No call. Next day, go to pick up daughter for school and she's missing a tooth. I ask about it and she says a name I've never heard before knocked it out on the neighbor's trampoline they aren't allowed to jump on. She said it was bleeding and it wasn't ready to come out. She seemed like she was worried but felt better after a night's rest. I ask again, who did this? Baby mama pops in and out of nowhere and says the kid's name again and says that the kid's dad is a new friend and his wife recently died. The kid is two years older than my daughter and he's a boy, but this is who baby mama decides to befriend after all these years of me telling her she needs to get out of the house and make friends. Once again, can't prove it, but I know for a fact she is trying to get with this guy. 
just the way she said it and all. Also, the fact that she's a parasite, and this poor guy with a dead wife is a perfect target compared to me, the angry black man. So I walked away, went to the car and just tried to not freak out, lest I go to jail again. I take the daughter to school, go back to baby mama's house and start snapping. Reminder I said not to bring a romantic potential around my children. Remind her of all the female friends she cut me off from over the years. If I even mention a girl's name, it's a fight. So I confront her and the hippie roommates and say I'm going to get them kicked out. Hippies talk crap back, obviously don't know me. And say, she can have a boyfriend if she wants one. This is when I see red. I'm about to start decking hippies. In my house, where my name is still on the lease, this dude that don't know my last name want to tell me it's okay for my baby mama to have a boyfriend in my freaking house? So I left before I got arrested for doing something stupid. I blocked her number. Haven't talked to her in a week. Got a text from the teacher. Apparently, she's not taking my daughter to school for a week straight, and the teacher is concerned. When the lease ends in July, I'm taking my name off. Then I'm going to report baby mama to the landlord. Get her evicted, and take full custody of my kids because she's homeless. Tell her to go live with her new boyfriend, or them hippies in their van. It's so important for her to be with these people instead of calling me back. Do her like she's done me a million times. Kicked out, can't see her kids, and don't know what to do. I can honestly say I was much nicer before we met. She's turned me into the devil. It just happened tonight. So we've been fighting. Long story. Check my history for the long version in Confessions. She had me wrongfully arrested. Now I can't forgive her. We get in a fight the other day because I have suspicions she's seeing someone else. Don't talk to her for a few days because I have a temper and I need to cool down. Get a funny feeling tonight, so I drive by her house. No cars. Lights are on. Strange. I creep up to the windows. Looks empty. Go in the backyard to enter the house. My name's on the lease. It's cool. Her roommates see me and tell me she's not here and they thought she was with me. I ask where's the kids. The oldest is sleeping inside by herself while she has my baby boy out there at some stranger's house. Needless to say, I scooped up my daughter and brought her back to my house. Now I'm sure my baby mom is going to call the police and I'm going back to jail this week. Cheating whore. I had one rule when I said I didn't want to be with her anymore. Don't bring your boyfriend around my kids. But now, I'm going to do her dirty. <laughs>